Recording in progress. This is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring on YouTube. And I wanted to read the article. Ah, I am like so busy. The Seattle Magazine. I am. Oh my gosh. It, it's funny. It doesn't think this is real. Okay. This is real. This is the Seattle Magazine. And I was interviewed for this. So uh, I'm going to read it. Let's see. Um, Brad Holden is the journalist who interviewed me. And it is in the uh, March, April, Seattle Neighborhoods to Watch and Seattle Business Magazine with the cover called Won't You Be My Neighbor? And it is uh, like a two-page spread. Brad, Brad Holden, let's see if I can get there. Me and my art car. The virtual reality background is making it look all weird. <sighs> okay, let's see if I can read this thing. I am so busy. I barely have time. I'm getting ready to go to Houston, Texas for the art car parade. The performance art of Goddess Kring. Shannon Kringen retains her colorful and quirky personality from her public access TV show by Brad Holden. Many thanks to Seattle Magazine and Brad Holden for deciding to publish this. Long before there were social media influencers or YouTube or even the internet, there was public access television. Seattle was first introduced to public access in 1983 when Channel 29 was unceremoniously added to local cable TV. At the time, there was relatively new it was a relatively new concept in which anyone could create and produce their own content and it would later air in scheduled time slots. As an added bonus, public access was free for uh, free from any censorship, so virtually anything was allowed, which such a large percentage of eccentric and uninhibited artist types living in the city at the time, it oh, with that many of those kind of people living, it did not take long for some of these people to find their way to this new bastion of creative freedom. Public access TV quickly became a home for the weird, the naked, and the forbidden. On any given night, Channel 29 featured everything from fundamentalist religious sermons to a show called Bong Hit Championship. You never knew what you were going to find when tuning in, uh, which was a large part of its appeal. Okay, I don't know if I should really read this whole thing, but maybe I will in a podcast, like an audio microphone podcast, so I can just focus on the audio and not worry about the visual. Um, basically it goes on to say uh, various names of different shows and of all the personalities on local public access, though, perhaps one of the most memorable was Shannon Kringen, the colorful pagan woman whose goddess Kring show featured stream of consciousness monologues combined with unclothed performance art. Kringen recently announced that she has uncovered a large cache of VHS tapes containing all episodes of her show, generating some renewed interest in this bygone era of television. Uh, the discovery of these artifacts led me to reach out to her and learn more about her interesting story. Um, and so it goes on to talk about the way I was raised. It goes on to talk about my public access show starting in 1995 or 96. It goes on to talk about my, um, my art car and the music that I'm doing with Dave Flowers. Let's see if I can get that just there. <laughs> There's me um, standing next to my art car with my bodysuit on that is my art printed. So I'm going to read the rest of this in another uh, audio podcast because I want to just focus. But it's it's kind of cool. It goes on to talk about, I mean, this is the most mainstream thing I've ever been interviewed and published into and i'm really proud and happy about it uh, and grateful for it um, because i put a lot of heart and soul and effort into all my art projects and my music and i i have a self-published so i'm in the seattle in my art is mentioned in the seattle magazine and i have a <laughs> poetry book that I published, Kringonian Pizzazz, Kring Speak Poetry, right along with these other two books that I have. 
Art Identity and the Sacred, a visual art book of mine. Oh my gosh, it will not, there. <laughs> art Identity and the Sacred. And Selfies Outside the Box. Oh, that is so funny. Selfies Outside the Box. So these are several publishing publications that I am involved in. So thank you, Seattle Magazine. And I am just in a rush right now. And I just got a bunch of blank CDs to print, publish, rip, make copies of the Dave Flowers and Channing Kringen music called Kring Flowers. We have 11 or 12 original songs and they're going to be on our band camp and my YouTube as well as Interactive Jack Records Seattle. We would love to get KEXP if they think our music is good enough on the air. I know they're very, very picky about local music. But I think some of our music is good enough, so maybe we can get one of the DJs there. Um, if you know any DJs at KEXP that would like to listen to a sample of our music, let us know, and um, we will try to get our music on the air. And we're open to figuring out where else we can get our music shared and distributed uh, freely to whoever's interested in it. I am really having a lot of fun writing song lyrics. I've been writing poetry since I was 13 years old, and I read The Diary of Anne Frank and just been writing um and I am uh, dog walking, pet sitting, art modeling, and standardized patient modeling, acting basically for medical students, uh, role play with medical students, and going to Houston, Texas for the Art Car Parade and Festival uh, with Dave Flowers and his son Tiger, and we are going on an amazing road trip. I've never been on a long road trip, so I'm excited. We even have a GoFundMe page. Uh, if you want to share, um, support us, feel free uh we're going to do the trip no matter what so we're going to figure it out and on a budget and we're going to be frugal and cook our own food and stay in inexpensive places and are looking for hosts we are going to be driving from seattle to parts of idaho and colorado and utah and arizona and texas and then back so it's going to be interesting so thanks for tuning in and i will write i will um read the whole article on a future uh, recording, and it's on. It's not on the Seattle Magazine website yet, but apparently it will be in the next month. So it's right now in print uh, in the current Seattle Magazine issue. Uh, I think it's called the March April issue that says, "Won't you be my neighbor?" on the cover, and I'm on page I think 103 the goddess kring article so thanks for tuning in to youtube please like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this content and spread the word and yeah i've got music and poetry and visual art and my art car and i love to collaborate with painters uh as an art model i pose and they paint and that's really fun and just wanted to share that yeah thanks for listening this is goddess kring saying have a good day. Bye for now.